Hi everyone, Brenda Gustin here, and I want it to go over the syllabus. So you would click on the syllabus link, which you probably already did because you got to this video. And uh, I'll have the, when you look at this, I'll have the this video posted here too. So I'm going to click on the syllabus to look at it. See, it says Word document. And what you can do is you can look at documents right, you know, like this and, and scroll down but generally probably what you want to do is click download mine goes up there and I click on it and it opens in Microsoft Word okay and so um, yeah so that the information on the syllabus here's my contact information Dr. Brenda Gustin you can call me Brenda you can call me Dr. Gustin um, there's my email my office my phone number in my office um, when you want to contact me the best way to contact me is by email and in fact um, down here a little bit there's an important reminder make sure to log into my Corning and your school email at least three times a week that's really um, one of the only ways or the main way that your instructors have to contact you and in fact even the college you know will contact you through your um, corning-cc.edu email so be use your corning email and check it multiple times a week but also if you want to contact me contact me through through your corning email um, I check that on a regular basis and I try to respond quickly. Um, the, I have live office hours and and so through email is a great way to talk to me. I, I'll, I'll answer questions that way. But if it's something more complicated or it's something you want to um, you want to meet me or you want me to meet you and and you want to stop by my office, that's a great idea. Um, I have office hours where you can you know I should just be there waiting for you so you you can just pop in. Um, you have the office hours listed here and but you'll also notice that there's a lot of times that I don't have office hours so if you if these out times don't work for you you can email me set up an appointment for an office hour outside of those times and um, I'm glad to try to meet up with you at a mutual con mutually convenient time I can also set up virtual office hours where we could talk um, and again, a great way to do it is through email or you can phone me. We can set up a virtual office hour. I can send you a link and we can talk on the computer. And honestly, I've, I've actually gotten to know a couple students over you know the past few semesters just by doing that. So um, virtual office hours is a great option. Here's the course description and the course learning outcomes and um, your textbook information. We're going to be using, I've been talking about already, um, an ebook by McGraw-Hill and the the it's called Mic microbiology fundamentals um, it comes with connect access so if you have the version that comes with connect you automatically will have the ebook with it um, you can use the barnes and noble's first day complete for those to pay for those items or um, or you can um, buy the the book individually sir by the um, connect version individually but you can look over that material um, help resources for the course it, it says for help help with course contents students should contact the instructor I would always say any problems you have with this course I should be um, the first one that you seek for help now if you're having technical problems you might want to go through um, the McGraw Hill site or you might want to go through um, you know the bright space or whatever wherever there's help for that but if it's instructional issues um, definitely come to me first I know you know people say go to a tutor and whatnot but I know the course better than than anyone so you might as well talk to me first I I'm glad to try to help you so contact me with with help and if you do need tutoring or you don't want to use me there are some links here that um, Corning Community College has contracts with that you can go um, online but we also have uh, a learning commons here it is free tutoring and other helpful academic resources are available through the learning commons and that's in our our library and that's a great place to get help but like i said i highly recommend coming to see me first and um i'll try to help you out the weekly format of the class there is a calendar if you're on brightspace the bottom left corner the all the assignments and the due dates are on there 
Um, but the assignments and the due dates are also in your syllabus. They're on every Brightspace page. It's not hard to find out when things are due or what is due. Um, it, on each weekly Brightspace page, which I will show you, there's a lecture study guide that has kind of an outline of what we're going to be covering that week. And you're going to fill out that outline um, using, you can use lecture videos. Uh, I will, I make lecture videos and I post them on each weekly module. You also have um, a weekly lecture assignment. If you are looking for the grades for these lecture assignments, I list them as LA in the grade book. So week one LA is week one lecture assignment, week two LA, week two lecture assignment. And so the lecture assignments, again, there's a link on your Brightspace um, on each weekly module, and um, you'll find the lecture assignments there. And I'll talk a little bit more about them when I, I get to that. But um, you can see that when you go to that lecture assignment, you it says there's a the re, you can link it links to the book and there's a start reading link. So if you don't want to watch these lecture videos and you just want to use your your book, you might consider going right to the lecture assignment and go to the start reading link to compete complete your lecture study guides. So students will, you'll kind of get the feeling for what works for you, but you can use lecture videos or the ebook to complete your lecture study guide. Probably most people will do a combination of the two. And then the lecture assignment will be under the start questions link. And what you're going to find is that these lecture assignments are what we call adaptive learning. So um, it's going to give you some questions that um, you would have answered by completing the lecture study guide. And the more, uh, the more questions you answer correctly, the fewer questions you'll get. When you answer questions incorrectly, then you're going to get more questions on the topics that you're missing. The lecture assignments are graded based on um, the percentage of questions that you completed. So if you complete the lecture assignments each week, you'll get 100% of the points for those. Each week we'll also have a lab handout and it's just a, it's like a lab sheet like you've gotten in, in other lab classes. Um, within those lab sheets, there might be some links to videos I want you to watch. Um, there's also virtual labs. There's links to virtual labs that you will see. Um, and I have those links on the Brightspace pages also. Those virtual labs take you to McGraw-Hill Connect. And so you'll see, you'll get experience with those this first week. Um, you will get points for completing the virtual labs. Just by completing the lab, you get the, the points. The number of points are listed on your syllabus, so you can see how many points each virtual lab is worth. And then um, most weeks also have a lab quiz. And so the lab quiz takes questions directly off the lab, lab handout. And, um, and so if you complete the lab handout, you take the lab quiz, you can use the handout and just write the answers in there. It's just the way that I kind of force you to complete the lab handout. Um, our exams, particularly our lecture exam, our final exam, and our lab pra practicals are proctored. And proctoring is in the form of, of a source called Respondus. <clears throat> Respondus, um, what it does is you need to have a, a video camera on your computer with a microphone and Respondus will record um, you as you're taking the, the test. And then what happens <clears throat> if something seems like weird, like you're talking during it or you're looking over at other things or um, other people are in the background, it will leave me a note to go check out your video <clears throat> and make sure that nothing um, looks suspicious. So you have to have a um, um, camera on your computer. If your computer, I'm using my laptop right now, it has a camera built in, but my desktop at work does not. And so I bought like a $30 camera that you can just set on the, the top of the monitor. And so those are easy to find. And if you don't have one now, you, you need to get one. If you miss any of your weekly assignments, um, you're going to see that all the, the due dates are, are listed in the syllabus. They're listed in, on each week, weekly module. And most, almost all the materials are due by 11.59 p.m. 
on Sunday at the end of each week, except the final exam, which is due at noon on Thursday of week 15. And I will remind you of that multiple times. But the thing you have to remember for most of the week is assignments are due at 11.59 p.m., one minute before midnight, on Sundays at the end of the week. Late assignments will be accepted for up to one week after the due date, so 11.59 p.m. a week later, but you can only earn up to 50% of the points that are possible for that assignment. So I'll accept late assignments for one week, but you can only earn 50% of the points. Um, if you wait to the last minute to take a quiz and find out your internet connection has failed, you don't get extended time. Um, you really need to be planning ahead and working on materials as you go along. You don't want to wait to the last minute for everything. Here's just a, some notes on organization. Uh, I recommend looking at that and being organized in this course. Keep yourself on track. I have to do it. Um, I, I'm really methodical in my three ring binder about what I'm doing each week and everything's labeled and clearly organized. If you want to withdraw from this course for any reason, uh, if you get to the end of week nine, if, if you withdraw by the end of week nine, um, by end of the day on Sunday, you can get a W. So let's say you're getting getting a D in the class, you don't want a D, and um, it's the week nine, and you're like, eh, I'm not going to get any better, so I might as well drop the class and get a W. Um, if you just stop attending and you don't drop yourself, you will get the grade you earned. So I'm not going to go in and take you out if you're not attending at, at the end of week nine. Here's your course grades. You can put your points here as you earn them. You will also see a summary of all these points on um, in Brightspace. So you'll have, um, you click on the grade section and it's always got a total of your grades. So you can put them here or you can just rely on the, the grade calculations in Brightspace. So here's all of our assignments that we're getting points for this semester. And there's the scale of what how many points you need for for whatever grade and here's the class schedule and I refer to this constantly so here we are it just reminds you again except for the final exam which is due at 12 noon on Thursday test quizzes assignments etc are due on Sundays at 11 59 p.m. at the end of the assigned week okay um, so here's week one and this is the lecture topic we're going to do. I put right there that the, elect, the lecture assignment is going to be worth six points. Here's the lab topic. And then here's all the virtual labs that you're going to be doing. VL is virtual lab. These are all within this lab handout. And there's also a lab quiz. So you can see how I get all those lab points like that. And so these virtual labs aren't worth a lot. But if you consistently don't do some, first of all, you're going to miss some concepts. And second of all, you're going to end up missing some points. Okay, and so we're going to follow that through each week. And like I said, each all these assignments are in your week one, two, three, etc. modules in Brightspace. Um, you can see what we're doing each week. There's a break and then, oh, week five, we have a lecture exam and a lab practical. So that's not very nice, but at least it's right. There's a break time there. Get you ready for it. So follow, you're going to be following this through. And I'm going to stop right there. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.